Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to be putting together the Counter Height Dining Set, which is by Mainstays, but I got this at Walmart, and I know a lot of people always have problems putting these things together, so we're going to go step by step and put this thing together. And when you take the top off, just to let you know, there are more parts underneath. And just a real quick view on what's in here. Just took out all the little parts and tools and usury manual that you'll be having in there. And I'm just going to take all this stuff out, take it out of the packaging, and lay it out so you can see it. Alright, now I have everything laid out. Obviously the top of the table, the bottoms of the chairs, the tops and the seats of the chairs, the legs of the table, and all of the little pieces. So, let's get started with the chairs. So, first thing we're going to do is connect the back of the chair to the bottom of the chair. And what we need to do is come in here to all of our tools. And we need ones, which are these, and then fives, and sixes. So for each chair, you're going to need five. So five of each, the ones, the fives, and the sixes. So this is how they're going to go on. First, you're going to put on the lock washer, and then you're going to put on the flat washer for all five of them. All right, once you get the screws set up, you're going to get the back of the chair and have it upside down with the curve facing inwards towards the curve of the seat, which is going to be positioned as such. It's going to be upside down, just like this one, and it's going to be upside down so you can see the two holes at the top and all the holes here, and you're going to put the seat right here on top, line up the holes, and go ahead and screw in the screws. And there it is. It's a beautiful chair without its feet. So now, we need to get some more pieces to put the bottom together. So, you're going to need E, F, G, and H. So, one of each of the, the little small ones that came in the separate package in the whole box. So, you're going to need all of these, just one of each. And you're also going to need the legs, which are C and D. So, the supplies you're going to need is 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So first thing we're going to do is I have C laying down here with the side that has all the holes in it, so the inner side of it. And then I have E and F placed where they're going to be. F's going to be up here and E's going to be down further. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these wooden dowels. There's four of them and each one is going to go, there's going to be one in the middle on both sides here and same thing with this one, a dowel in the middle. Now that the dowels are in, I'm going to go ahead and get the screws ready. It's the same thing as before. It's going to have first up the lock washer and then the flat washer. All right, now I have all the screws ready to go. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to F, get F on the far side and just pop it in there in the dowel. And same thing with E, I'm going to pop it in so that the outsides are the smooth portion and the insides are the ones with the holes. And what we're going to do with these pieces is we're going to get the screws and they're going to go on the inside just like that. And they're going to go through the hole and then you have to find the hole on the bottom part and then you're going to put your allen wrench in there and tighten them up. And when you put them on, make sure that the dowels that are already on here, the black ones, are facing up from the bottom of the chair, like I have over here. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to put on G and H. You can't mix them up because this one's the thicker one and this one's the thinner one. So have it positioned like I still have it, G and H. And on the bottom portion, you're going to have the two holes facing the bottom. Both of those, same on both sides, the holes, you're going to use these guys, these screws, and you're going to put them through into the bottom on both sides. So when you put G and H down here at the bottom, like I said, they need to have the holes right there 
and up there. But another thing you have to note is they are angled. So make sure they go with the angle moving up. So as you can see, like that, that would be moving up. And along with that angle that goes in a downwards towards the front, also when it goes like this, and you're looking at it from bottom to top, there's also an angle that goes inwards, because if you put it down flat, it goes from tall to short. So it's going to be angled down this way, and it's going to be angled down this way. So once you get it on one way, you have to make sure you have it right the other way, and it is completely flat. Now once all of these are in, you can get the D and put it on top of C and all of the other pieces. Just like I said before, all of the little hole pieces not on the smooth side. Smooth side is going to be up, so everything is going to be placed like this. And it's going to be the same thing as you did before on the bottom. Down here, just like up top, there's one up here. It's going to be screwed into the top, just like you did down here. And also on the insides, you're going to have your other four screws to be screwed up top. All right, now that I have everything put together and is standing upright, this is F, the one with the single dowel. And over here, I've got E with the two. The one here in the back, F, the single one, is going to be the back of the chair. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to put the back of this chair, which has that one dowel hole there and the two right here and right here. That's just going to pop on. And once I do that, I'm going to flip it upside down so I can screw in the rest of the screws. Because once you get it upside down, each side is going to have two. This side, on this side, this side, and also on this side. So you're going to have a total of eight. And you're going to be using these guys, the number threes, which are going to be looking like this. And there are all the chairs finally done, nice and sturdy. Now we move on to the actual table. So make sure you have it down on something that's not going to scratch the top of it. And then get your legs over here. And on the legs, they're going to have little protection things that are on them. So take all those off. And once you take all of those off, then you need the rest of your stuff. You need um, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and the wrench too. So each one of these are the same. They're all J's. So we're gonna get the leg and the two screws and we're gonna put it through the end of the table. And there it goes in there. And you see, now that they're popping through on the other side, we're gonna grab the three I told you about. The first one is the flat washer. It's gonna go on there. Then it's going to be the lock washer. And last but not least, the nut to hold it all in place. So I'm gonna do that to all of the ones on all four sides and then we'll get the brackets and we'll be done. Now that they are all snugged and tightened and perfection, not wobbling, last but not least is the 11s, which are right over here. They're gonna go on the edge of these to make sure that they don't ever move. And then you're gonna grab the tens, which are these little tiny screws. And you're gonna grab two of them. And each one of these little ones, gonna go in there, screw them in with a Phillips head all the way around. And I'll show you what the final product looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's finally put together. It's one of the taller ones. You can tell by my TV stand and how tall this actually is.